rail work access for emergency bank excavation opposite telegraph pole Delta Papa 1842 access track previous created for uh, historic works will require minor pruning coppicing of pink stems here further coppicing of 30 centimeter uh, 30 millimeter stems here here the red and white tape denotes the center of the main access route the access route is approximately uh, three and a half to four meters wide with the same kind of height clearance the very young small uh, 10 millimeter diameter uh, sapling growth could all be left tracked over and then allowed to spring back up after the work a slight turn here following the line of least resistance tape marks the outer extremity of the track here but again we're following a previous trail there are ruts in the ground from previous access which I'm guessing are tracked judging by the width of the tracks and the depth of them evidence of previous mature tree felling with several 500 millimeter diameter stems hidden in the bracken slight turn here heading towards the bramble patch in front of me now with the tape above coming through maybe a requirement to coppice uh, the sycamore stems but again 20 millimeter diameter as you can see the track is largely open there are some peripheral small foliage branches extending over it that I believe with only one access in and one exit there won't be any significant damage left and what is damaged can be then pruned out here we reach a turning point back to fogging the tapes potential for more coppice Again, 30 mil diameter stems. Tape defines the route still. This is the narrowest point of the access. We've got one 20 mil diameter sycamore stem to coppice, a 60 mil birch stem to coppice, and one of six large stems to fell. At this point, we reach another turning point and we continue again following the line of least resistance the significant width adequate crown height clearance there may be the requirement for some minor pruning at this point where there is a stem on the left there probably 40 mil diameter what may require felling or coppicing when we come through again following the tapes in the trees we make a turn around this larch here so we're coming into this clearing area 90 degree turn and continuing at the line of least resistance and crown clearance above us there are minor branches but I do believe these will just sweep out of the way during access again following the main trail and it's important to point out this this trail has been used before uh, most of the stems that I've marked are previously damaged um, by the by the previous access uh, obviously scars are present on them it's up to the landowner whether those are retained or a coppice uh, just to not leave any damaged stock in the woodland again a natural natural line of access is here from before 
you might just be able to mark out the two ruts either side of this track. Four sycamore stems averaging 40 mil diameter to coppice. We reach another turning point here where there's some young oak to my left. Two branches there, mainly pruning back, but there's lots of squirrel damage and damage going on uh, with those stems anyway, so it could be coppiced. We make a right turn, again, following the tapes. Again, a natural gap between the crowns. No mature stock affected up until this point. further coppice work likely just to allow better clearance without having to damage any trees. Everything else when walking through the moat is very young, very small stock. Here is the main access to the work area. The two pink dotted hazel limbs require removal. Possibly some brush cutter clearance of the young ash saplings to the left of the work area we have a willow tag triple eight nine this ideally requires coppicing just to create space but the actual tree has got lots of damage from from previous works I feel it might be wise just to remove it from the opposing side of the, the work area we've got tag 8890 that is one hazel stand it'd be worth taking the whole thing down to a coppice again opposite side two hazel limbs these are about 120 mil diameter but it's only these two limbs that require coppicing small rowan 60 mil diameter to fell and an oak tree 8892 this oak tree has significant stem damage from historic operations here uh, my wonder is if it is uh, sort of crown cleared on the uh, track side so that if the tree ever were to fail it can fail safely into the woodland not the live rail, hazel coppice to recoppice, and one more hazel coppice to recoppice. This will approximately give a 20 metre by 10 metre wide square area as a, as a work head. The wood material on both sides of the access point, they can be used as infill in ruts where required and then the stone layer built on top. The landslip is just beyond the bank edge there. There is an area to, to leave material at the far end of these logs and a further area to leave material at the end of this log pile. I don't feel at the moment anything needs to leave site, which means one access in and one exit out of the uh, excavator and dumper.